Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher Mardoyan from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Steven Steiner from West Coast from San Francisco. Hi Steven, how are you doing? Hello, hello, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Thank you for being here. So Steven, he's an analytical UX architect who defines clarity from ambiguity with a passion to grow, mentor, and empower others to solve customer problems. He has 15 years plus as an instructor and a coach and also includes 10 years as an award-winning designer on both in-house and agency teams of all sizes at companies, communities, and organizations internationally. As a career coach for designers, he brings the right balance on hand of hands-on industry experience, rigor, and moral support to help designers level up. His approach to coaching is rooted in design methodologies that meet designers where they are now, then help them get to where they want to be based on their individual career aspiration. So Stephen, my first question for you is, it's important to know personal values. It's important to know where you are before going anywhere. So. In your approach, do you have any tips that you give to your designers or your clients in identifying those values? Yeah, absolutely. So when we start work, or when I start working with designers, really what I want to focus on is discovering what they want to do and defining who they are. Mm -hmm. So when you discover what you want to do, you want to look at roles, responsibilities, you want to look at location, as well as compensation to understand what you identify as your requirements of how to pursue what you want next. Okay. And in terms of knowing who they are, what approach do you use? Is there any system, any softwares, or any, it's on a one-on-one -on -one talking, or is there any exercise the designers do, or what? Yeah, there's a few different ways. It really, meeting the designer where they're at and figuring out kind of what works for them, I adapt to the personality. Mm -hmm. Although one activity that tends to work the most for designers is doing what I call a UX gap analysis. Mm -hmm. And it's really going out and reading job descriptions against what's been identified as seven different types of designer roles. Mm. So there's 21 plus different job descriptions. It gets confusing sometimes. It's been identified as seven different types of designer roles and really figuring out what the difference is between those different roles. So the designer is making an informed decision mm -hmm. of saying, yes, I am more of a researcher or an architect or an artist or a strategist, like what skill set really resonates with them. Mm -hmm. based off of job descriptions and expectations from delivering in that role. All right. Those are great tips. Thank you. For, so for the audience watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Stephen a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. You can like, comment, share the video. So tune in next time for another great question with Stephen.